Basic obedience week nine. So a quick review of last week. You did what I call the bribing stage where you would put the treat in front of their nose, draw it down into an angle, gradually um, pull it out in between their paws. As their tummy touched the floor, you mark it with the word yes. When they're doing it consistently, as their tummy touched the floor, you change it to the words D D O W N. So test. Is going to do a quick review of that. So, easy to start with a sit, treat by the nose, bring it downwards, gradually bring it out, lower and lower, while they're nibbling on it, massage their back, say the word okay, okay which basically gives them permission to get up if they want to. In this case, doesn't want to, so you're going to have to release them in way. Okay. Text. Text. Good. Stage. So the stage this week is a little bit more awkward because we've been using a lot of treats to be able to bribe our dog down. And what we're going to actually do is change it now from not bribing, but the dog has to offer the behavior to get the reward. So this is really tricky. Um, Tex actually knows the dog quite well, so he's going to make it look easy. But I was training a Scotty dog earlier this week, and I did a marathon session that took an hour and ten minutes just to get the dog understanding that you have to earn your reward, you have to offer the behavior before I'm going to give you the, the treat. Um, so I would say Tex is going to make it look easier. What you're going to do, you can run here, is you're going to use your hand movement like you would have when you were bribing, but your treats are actually going to be in the other hand behind your back. You're going to do exactly the same as what you've been doing so far. I do suggest that you uh, do a couple of bribes just to get started. So when the dog does get stuck, he can think back in his brain, what was the last thing I did that got me a reward? Um, and he should think back, well, the last thing I did was a down, so that's what I'm going to try again. And they might just offer it to you that way. Uh, other times they've got to really, really think about what they've got to do, so that's why it takes a lot of time. Big hint, don't just stand there and keep staring at them, because they'll just keep looking back up at your eyes. They're looking for information, so we want them to actually engage in a brain and think, what have I got to do to earn that treat? The other thing I don't want you to do is keep going, down, down. Your dog heard it the first time, and the more you interrupt, the less he'll use his brain. So, let's give it a go. Text. So again, I'm going to start in the sit. Sit. Good. Okay. So, hands down as before. My treats are behind my back. Come on. Sit. Down. He went down. I'm going to give him a treat down there. Nice. Good. Just to hold him down there, what I'm going to keep doing is I'm just going to drop treats in between his paws. You can keep them nibbling if you want to and massage to their back. But we're going to get ready in the next couple of weeks to be able to start moving away from our dogs. So think back to when we did the mat work where we gradually uh, introduce the duration and distance. So it's exactly the same thing. You're going to gradually start doing this. So I want to also move away from always giving food out my hands. And that's my fault to go because of where I place the food. So we, I give us a chance to do it again. So take the sit. This is a signal for sit. Good. Exactly the same. Down. Nice. Good. Good. So, okay, releases. Okay. Now, he did make it look easy because he practices a lot, but your dogs will literally sit there. It might take 10 seconds, it might take 30 seconds. Like I say, give them a chance to engage their brain to think what should they be doing. 
if after 30 seconds your dog starts looking around the room like this, he's zoned out, he's stopped trying to think what he's supposed to do. So in that case, I would release them, I'd give them a quick walk around, come back, restart again. Um, if you try and push pull, they're just gonna like think there's something strange about you and they'll start to, to move away. So this is really, really hard for the dogs. It's really mentally challenging for them. Once they get it, it's like, oh, that's what you wanna do. And you'll find that they start out offering that behavior all sorts of um, different places. It become their number one thing. So his number one thing is a sit. He's like, if I sit in you, can I have a treat? If they work at this hard enough, they'll start going, well, I didn't work. How about if they offer a day? So then it becomes like um, a really normal behavior to them. Okay, once more. Down. Beautiful. Romantic treats. Yep. Okay. Good boy.